everybody welcome to my channel welcome to the first video of the week this week's theme is Disney animals and for our first one we are doing Bambi this is such an easy look if I wasn't filming this would have taken me like 20 minutes honestly the hardest part is going to be creating this shape on the eye but once you're done with that the rest of the look so so super easy this is perfect for anyone who's in a rush who wants a minimal costume or who maybe isn't as confident with their skills but they still want to do something so if you want to see how to recreate this look then please keep on watching all right let's get started so what you're going to need is a bronzer some sort of dark brown powder that can be an eyeshadow or if you have like a contouring palette that has a dark powder you can use that as well you're also going to need a white eyeshadow and a black eyeshadow. Um, lastly, I think you're going to need some eyeliner and you are set to go. Some optional things are um, you can use lashes, which I am going to use today, and uh, some sort of white paint or something that you can create like white dots around your face with. So to start off, I'm going to start off with the eyes. That's kind of the most complex part in my opinion. Using my eyeshadow, I'm going to create a winged out cut crease that also comes into the outer corner. Now that I have the brown in the crease, I'm actually going to take some black and I'm going to put that in the crease just to help define it a little bit more and make it a little more intense. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take a shimmery eyeshadow. I'm using more of a champagne kind of color just because I don't have a shimmery white, but if you have a shimmery white, that'll be a lot more effective. Or you can even use like a highlighter if you want to. And I'm going to put this all over the crease. I mean, the lid. So I'm done with that and as you can see I actually kind of winged out the shimmery eyeshadow as well. If you did a cut crease it'd be a lot more effective. I just don't like cut creases. They're too hard for me. Um, now moving on to the lower lash line. What you're going to do is you're going to kind of instead of smoking out right at the lash line you're actually going to come down a little bit to leave a gap. Smoke that out and once you get to about where your lashes end on your inner corner you're going to come down and create sort of a triangle so that's pretty much what you're going to want to create i hope you guys can see that i can't i don't have my glasses on um but you're going to do that on both sides and then fill in the gap with a shimmery eyeshadow or just a light eyeshadow Now that that's done, as you can see, I just have this line here that I smoked out. One thing, I do wish I brought the eyeshadow down a little bit lower and left a bigger gap, but that's okay. And then I just filled it in with the white shimmery eyeshadow. Um, and now what I'm going to do is eyeliner. And for the eyeliner, you're going to do just a basic wing, but once you get to the inner corner, you're actually going to bring it way down, kind of to line or like outline this white part if that makes sense at all i hope it does <laughs> now 
And now all that's left for the eyes is to put on mascara and falsies. Um, you do not want to put any on the lower lashes. You can if you want that super dull eye look, but I'm not going to do that. So my camera died and I'm pretty sure I left off talking about my eyebrows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same brown eyeshadow that I used in the crease and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows very boldly. So I use the brown in the crease to fill in my eyebrows and honestly I don't like how it looks especially because my hair is black and you can really see the difference between the black and the brown. So I'm actually going to go in with this much deeper brown in my eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use that to um, go over my eyebrows again. Alright, that looks a lot better. It was more of a cool tone brown so it actually helps blend my hair uh in with the eyeshadow now what i'm gonna do is take my bronzer and i'm gonna create a very harsh contour on the nose and that'll just help create that like illusion of a deer face um, i'm just gonna go from my eyebrow straight down to the tip of my nose Now that I have that done, I'm going to go down uh, the center of my nose with a white eyeshadow. Alright, that is the nose and I also took some white eyeshadow and I kind of went up and around the top of my eyebrows just to give me more of like that wide look to the forehead. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. Now to finish off the nose, I'm going to go back in with that dark brown eyeshadow and just create a cute little nose. I'm most likely just going to follow the shape of my nose and then kind of round it out here at the top. Pretty much for the last part is just take your bronzer or that same um, brown eyeshadow and literally just bronze your face like never before. You're going to go all the way across your forehead and then you're going to follow the 3B kind of uh, thing that everyone uses. I just spent about 10 minutes bronzing my face. This is kind of a sheer bronzer, so that's why it took me so long. But now for one of the last steps, I'm going to conceal my mouth. I'm not going to draw a mouth um, just because I don't think that looks very realistic. Here's a picture of what I'm referencing for this look. She did a lip. I don't want to do it, so I'm just going to, you know, cover my lips. And I'm just going to create kind of that like line of separation or like that line where your lips meet um, because when I look at pictures of Bambi you can see where his mouth touches but he doesn't have like a black mouth if that makes sense. I'm pretty sure it stopped recording. Um, I'm just taking a round brush, some white eyeshadow and I'm creating white dots all over the brown areas. Now I'm taking a super, super small brush and I'm going to add some dots on the nose. This is the gist of the look. I'm just going to go do my hair real quickly and put on a different top and I will show you guys the finished look. Alright, here is the finished look. All I did is put on this sweater. This is actually a reindeer sweater. Um, but I just thought the color went perfectly with the face. One thing I did off camera is I took this 
kind of a uh, transition shade and I put that all over my lips just to kind of help conceal them a little bit more and you could put on some eyelashes if you like I kind of like the look just as is um, but lashes are always an option and that's it this is a super super easy look all you need is brown black white and your regular face base and you are done there are different ways to kind of make this a little more glamorous or like ethereal if you want to um you could instead of using white eyeshadow use like white paint white eyeliner you could use something shimmery as well just like i did on the eyes i used a shimmery eyeshadow rather than a matte one um, you can use like gemstones on your face if you wanted to and besides creating the shape on the eyes this look is so so easy you can do it in 20 minutes or less um, no matter what your makeup skill is and you are set um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys um, found this helpful or useful in any way and don't forget that I have two more videos coming this week both animal themed uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos and next week I will be revealing my official Halloween costume so I will see you guys then bye